Hi, welcome to this Blender video tutorial entitled Moving Objects. In Blender, to move something is to translate something. Here the words move and translate are synonymous. There are many ways to translate an object in Blender. To demonstrate how to move objects, I've placed a cube and a monkey object in my scene. I will open the right 3D Editor Viewport Control Panel and control up arrow key into full screen. One common method is to select the object by right-clicking it and then press on the G key. The G key is referred to as the Grab key. Here I will select the cube object, press the G key, and I'm able to translate the object anywhere in the scene. To confirm the position, I left-click, which ends the translation. Instead of using the G key, you can also translate an object by selecting it and pressing the Translate button in the left 3D viewport control panel. Here with the cube object selected, I'll press the Translate button and I'm able to translate the object to anywhere in the scene. To confirm the position, I left-click, which ends the translation. It is also possible to constrict the translation to a specific axis by first selecting the object, pressing the G key, or the Translate button, followed by either the X key, Y key, or Z key. For instance, here I will select the monkey object, press the G key, and then press the Z key. I'm able to translate the monkey object anywhere along the monkey's Z axis. To confirm the position, I left-click, which ends the translation. I'll press numpad 1 and go into front orthographic view. Here I will select the cube object, press the translate button, then press, press the X key, and I'm able to translate the cube object anywhere along the cube's x-axis. To confirm the position, I left-click, which ends the translation. Since I'm in front orthographic view, I can only translate the object along its X or Z axis. I'll press numpad 7 and go to top orthographic view. Here, with the cube already selected, I press the translate button, then press the Y key. I'm able to translate the cube object anywhere along the cube's Y axis. To confirm the position, I left click, which ends the translation. I will select the monkey and press the G key, followed by the X key. Notice that the object moves along the monkey's X-axis quite freely. You can see the X position in the right 3D Editor viewport control panel under Location X. I can control this movement by holding down my control key as I move my mouse. Note how the object now jumps one blender unit along the X-axis. I can control it even finer by holding down my Shift key instead of the Control key. Note how the object now moves very slowly in relationship to my mouse movement. I will left-click to stop the translation. Notice that I can also select the monkey object, press the G key followed by the X key, and move the object one blender unit at a time by clicking on the up, down arrow buttons on my keyboard. I will left-click to stop the translation. Another method to translate an object in Blender, constrained to the object's X, Y, or Z axis, is to use the Location Control Panel on the right 3D Viewport Control Panel. Here I will select the Cube object. Clicking on the arrow control to the right of the X location, I can move the object 0.1 Blender unit each click. I will click and drag the arrow control to the left of the Y location and I can move the cube. I can also just type in an X, Y, or Z location. Here I will set the cube at 0X, 0Y, and 0Z. I'll rotate the 3D display into a user orthographic view. Another very easy way to move an object, one that I use most frequently, is to use Blender's Translate Widget. 
This is a tool located at the center of the object that contains the red, blue, and green arrows. You can click on any of these arrows and move the object uh, along the object's X, Y, or Z axis. Here I will select the monkey object and click and drag the blue arrow, moving it along the monkey's Z axis. Here I'll do the same for the X axis. And here again for the Y axis. The Translate widget is a default widget available each time an object or objects are selected. Here I will add the cube to my selection. Note that the Translate widget moves to a center point between the two objects. I'll move both objects along the Z, then the X, then the Y axis. The Translate widget can be turned off and on by clicking on this Manipulator widget icon located in the 3D Editor viewport header. Here I will turn it off and now on. There are actually two alternative manipulator widgets, one for rotation and one for scaling. I'll press the A key to deselect the objects.